guys ready? Where do you want me to sit? Want to sit there? Yeah, it looks good. What are you, like, x-ray man? Now you're... <laughs> Why are you scratching so fast? Oh, God. I think everyone digs these glasses, baby. <laughs> You like breaking my balls. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank Stallone. I'm a musician, and my older brother is Sylvester Stallone. Frank is super talented. He writes great music, and he's a phenomenal entertainer. You can oh. kill me, man. <laughs> My brother is highly unique. He's very, very talented, very eccentric, kind of runs in the family. Growing up, we had kind of a goofy uh, <laughs> relationship. He would experiment on me. Here, let me try this. <laughs> Rolled me down the hill in a barrel and bombarded me with clay balls. But the, the relationship is very deep. My Uncle Frank was more an annoying younger brother than my mentor. You know what's the most important thing, girls? You're going to have to give three-quarter room to charity. I don't honestly think we've had a great relationship or a close one as I'm getting older. I think he's starting to understand we're adults. I'm an adult. You can kind of relate to me a little bit more. Welcome, oh, hey. my cuties. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, Gosh, nice to see you. I like this shirt. Wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. my God. Do you realize I've lived here 36 years? This is the second time you've been here. Frank invited us to his apartment, which is huge. We've never been invited over. The last time I was at Frank's house, maybe I was eight years old. Wait. How old wait, are wait. I remember what I did here. I only have one memory from his house. He put my feet in hot wax. I don't know. I thought it was normal. Is that my dad's abs? Yes. You have my dad's abs yeah. in your living room? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my abs. Yeah. yeah, we did a scene in Rambo 3 where he took a mold of my stomach because there's a stunt where I pushed this piece of wood through and I cauterized myself. You know, something that everyone does on 4th of July. You want to see downstairs? Yeah. See, my brother uses me as a way station. He'll throw stuff away, like in bundles. Figure out, I got to take it. Oh, see, my it, oh, whoa. Oh, my god, that just scared me. That this is horrible. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is this gangsta. Why do you have this? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. That's yeah. going to be possessed one day. That's yeah. going to kill you in your sleep. Go, Adrian. There's so much stuff of my dad. It's just a little weird. Like, I wouldn't have Sophia's boobies in my closet. Like, I don't know. Just me. Ew, is that blood? Those are your father hitting the meat in Rocky. And this was the village voice, and this was the cover. For Frank, who was in my corner since the beginning. Isn't that amazing? Either he's a great collector or clinically nuts. <laughs> so. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to deliver the message, OK? My brother, who really has more talent than me, is about to lay it all on you. So I want you all to give it up for Frank Stallone. persevered and dealt with this terrible nosebleed of colossal proportions. <laughs> there I go there. I just had to say that. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. Frank got over his nosebleed, played an amazing show, and the bad luck streak was officially broken. It's gonna be very interesting today. So where are these little squirts in there? Thank you. All right. The party has begun. Oh, Uncle Frank. Welcome, welcome. Made it. 
Yay. has arrived. Finally, you, your well, presence in the unwaxed studio. Thank you. What, what do you think? think? Studio. What's with the skulls? Is that like a... I don't know. So we tried, it. I tried to be quirky. It's a little excessive, a little much. My fear is that Uncle Frank says something so wrong that I have to cut and work hours and hours to make sure he doesn't get canceled or something crazy. Everyone ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> this show is called Unwaxed. It's not called Unfiltered. Okay, you guys. Known for his extensive music career, he has three platinum albums, 10 gold albums, and has even acted in over 60 films. Our Uncle, Uncle Frank! Frank. Uh, thank Stay you, on, my little. Okay. People. My little sweeties, thank you. Oh. Yeah. I think we should just jump right into your music career. That okay. is what you're known for. Yeah. You're a guitarist, a songwriter. I started singing really kind of around the house when I was five years old. My aunt uh, Nancy, she spoke like it is. She took heat. No, they're this all. Whole they're all is gonna be accents. Yeah, they're all it. off the boat. So they go. I hear it tonight. This Elvis guy gonna be on the TV. This is exactly what I want to be. I mean, the floppy Elvis hair. Was the... oh, so Elvis was your icon. Oh, absolutely. Inspiration. This will probably tell you why I'm not married. My mother was married five times. My father's married four times. Right. Boing. Boing. <laughs> yeah, a really good blueprint out there for like, you know, for marriage. Good so, examples. Yeah, yes. really good examples. My mother had taken off. She left. She had married this other guy. When my mother came back, she did a nice Christmas for us, probably the only good one we had. She bought two ukuleles for my brother and I, thinking we we're gonna be like the Everly Brothers. Within two hours, he smashed it over my head. Terrible. What is wrong? He's so he, was, he was the original Dennis the Menace. Yeah. He was getting in fights every day. So then he kind of got into superheroes. He jumped off the, the roof of the house, oh, broke his collarbone. Yeah. My father was like, they're not, and my father was pretty mean. Sly, can't understand to this day. I said, Sly, you snuck out of the house at 13 and stole his Cadillac and got into an accident. Okay, oh, see, I, you know what? That's why I like talking to you. That's because true. Because Sly never tells the truth about a story. No, and never. we get the honest truth from you. That is true. I would have to say one of my favorite stories was something to do with a black sea urchin. He stuck it in my he face and hair. Basically. I hate I hate skin diving. So we were, they go, hey, you want to take skin diving lessons? I go, not really. And my hair was like down to here. And we're under there. All of a sudden, he pulls my mask off. And I go into total panic mode. I come up. I go, what are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Such so an then ass. he finds a sea urchin, and he sticks it like right kind of in my hair and face. And it just latches. latches. You can't get it out. It latches to his hair. So now I come out of the water. I look like a total moron with the sea urchin like stuck in my hair. And he thinks it's funny. Yeah. But I was really afraid. I don't like being underwater like Oh, that's, that's like me. In my documentary, we talked about my panic attack era. I want to ask how you were able to cope with it in your yeah. generation, because today it's a different time. We have way more resources, Well, tools, there was no help. resources, no. So how did you go through well, that? Well, you have weird thoughts. You have gory thoughts. You have fear of thoughts. What saved me was music. Because wow. I, I, when I'd be on stage, I'd be fine. And I really wanted to ask Oh, that how... makes sense where I got it from. I actually should take some advice from you. No. I had no idea he suffered panic attacks. I mean, that's something I've gone through since childhood. Honestly, it makes me sad. I wish I had talked to him about it more, but I'm really, really glad that we're having this conversation now. It makes me feel a lot more bonded with him than I had felt before. Well, thank you guys so much for listening Girls, to this. Girls, I love you. I'm so happy we you had me him. on the show. And, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's a wrap! Yeah. See? See? I wasn't the bad Santa. Wow. Like, no. <laughs> so, Kathy, I'm okay. super excited for you to meet Frank. I think that you guys would really hit it off. When was his last, like, relationship? When was the last one that was, like, a Oh, long... shit. Lincoln was in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mary Todd. Hello. 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 Hey. Hi, Frankie. Hey, babe. How are you? Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is hey. Kathy. This is Frank. Oh, hi, Kathy. <laughs> My brother, Frank, he had a rough childhood, so I don't think he ever got the kind of love that was necessary, so he became very, very independent. He's so critical with his girlfriends. I said, Frank, just because she has seven toes, what's the big deal? You know, you can get around that. We're gonna hold our breath and cross our fingers that he makes it through the meal. If nothing else, to make Jennifer happy. Well, cheers to new friendships. Yes. Absolutely. And new relationships. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs>
you've been together forever. 32 How, years. 35. 36. No, you're not serious. No, Which is 36. We met, at, we met in 88. 35. So you were 12. <laughs> she was a four. <laughs> yeah. So I, oh. I hear you only date younger women, though. So what is that, oh, all, what is that okay. all about? That is what not is true. that all about? Did that come from Jennifer? <laughs> I don't actually date. Oh, you know what I think it is? What? Personality. Uh, look at you in there slice we go, eight. There we go. I think women like to laugh, and I, they like little offbeat humor. That's true. He was always funny. So yeah. in other words, and you love to laugh. You're I like love his to best laugh. audience. So yeah, I love it was laughing. Easy. Who's funnier? He kills it. He kills it. He is one of the funniest people like I've ever met. When he tried to pull my father's teeth out when he was sleeping, I thought that was his. That was really funny. <laughs> Yo, where's my cheapest? <laughs> you know what I love about this? You guys both are into fitness. And you both know about fitness from, you know, 50 years ago and today. Uh, we I know. mean, it's. We go back 100 years. 100, years come on. My mother had this ratty show on TV in 1950s called Barbellas, which she actually lifted weights on the show. Was it, it was a workout show? Yeah. Yeah. Your mother? And my mother would do incline with barbells, you know, wearing the white short shorts in the top, you know. So we had a, we had like a bench and some barbells and dumbbells. And I was getting pretty, I wasn't huge, but I was in good shape. My arms were like 15 and a half, 16, but the Not arms even you wish. They're like 12. No, no. <laughs> yes, they were. No, mine got bigger. That was your thigh. No, people had <laughs> was your arm. So the object of the date was to hook me up on someone. By the time he's done fucking ragging on me, no one would want to ever be with me. One of the great joys in my life is to poke fun at my brother. Trash talking each other keeps us young and vibrant. I'm really happy because you guys seem like you are kind of having a great time. Well, Jennifer, stop getting into analysis. Here we go. Thank you. I think the date went really well. I mean, they seemed to hit it off. They had a lot in common. So even if they don't work out romantically, if nothing else, they can go work out together. This is so much fun. I had the best time with you. I mean, I feel better knowing that somebody's here with Frank that can help him and take care of him. Because he doesn't ever do this. So this is a great thing. <laughs> I don't get up as fast as you. How is your, your back? Uh, <laughs> my back is killing me. <laughs> Sophia, we went from going to his apartment one time to him sleeping in ours. It's a little odd. It's so odd. Hey girls, do you have like uh, any pillows, extra blanket or something like that? What did he ask for, a Modelo? You want a beer? Pillow. I thought you said a Modelo. Well, that comes after the pillow. That's exactly what I'm bringing Thank you. Thank you, honey. You know, this couch is actually very comfortable. I'm That's glad so you're I'm glad you're in I think when I die, just embalm me and put- I was gonna say, you kinda look dead. Like in the coffin, <laughs> like, he was a good man. He tried. Yeah, here you go, here you go. Now I want you girls to say something about your uncle. I'm a bit annoyed that he has to sleep on the couch because it's a brand new couch. As long as his feet aren't on the couch, maybe he can just hang them off. Stallone men in general have huge, barbaric looking feet. You, your skin's looking a little dry from traveling. Yeah, so I have Let my Let me get kid. something, hold on. <laughs> okay. I think your face needs something like Whole face? Like a mask? Yeah. Ooh, calming mask. I think you need to calm down. The joys of being How's Uncle, this gonna fit Uncle over your Frankster. Head? Oh, Christ. Oh, oh. <laughs> you look so pretty. Wait, what? Oh. Isn't that special? Okay, don't talk. It's gonna be hard for you. There you go. Just relax. You look really good. <laughs> Halloween 14. <laughs> Usually when we put face masks on, everyone looks just aesthetically kind of pretty. My Uncle Frank looks like he's the Silence of the Lambs and he's about to murder everybody in our entire building. So we have FaceTime Mom. Okay. Mom, Mom do you want, what where's what we Dad? We killed what, Uncle Frank. Look what we did to him. We killed him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait. Rest in peace. <laughs> Thank you. See you later, Beatles. Bye. <laughs> I would never walk up to anybody. 
to this day, I'd be mortified to walk up and ask a girl for a date. I don't date. believe that. Oh, no. Really? Because last night you were so hitting on our waitress. I didn't hit on her. I didn't say one word to her. She what did? do you mean you said several words to her? Thank God you're here. Just the one I was looking for. I never Can said... I get another Aperol spritz? Like... Yeah, I never said that. I said, I said, hello, how you doing? Okay, come on, girls. Look what awaits you. A classic checker yellow cat. Where do you find this stuff? I know people. I wanted to do a surprise for the girls, so I was thinking, what can I do? Take them on a tour of the haunts that my brother and I used to roam in New York City. Girls, you ready for the tour? Yeah. Let's do it! All right. This is where it is, honey. This is where my brother and I lived in the early 70s for like $80 a month. This is so fun. Now, you see this hotel? Yeah. yeah. That's where your dad worked at the deli where he got fired. It no. was called the Dover Hotel. Oh my gosh. And my step-parents had an apartment there. Of course, they never let us stay there. This theater was called the Coronet Baronet Theater. This is where Rocky premiered on the East Coast. That afternoon, we went in there, they had a sneak preview, and I'm sitting there with your dad, and people started walking out. He was devastated, going, oh my god, it's a failure. That night, when it opened, you could hear the cheering out on the street no. from inside the theater. And that's Sly and I in this theater, wow. Rocky. That was the last moment of an an anonymity. Is that the word? I don't know. This and an anonymity and it. What's wrong with me? I think I did get hit too much. This is so cool. Very cool. Isn't it wild? My dad would tell us a little bit about his New York, but it's so different when you get to actually see it in person. And it is so great that my uncle took it upon himself to do exactly that. <laughs> hey, Frank's pack is some shit, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go like this. Hey, does anybody have hanky, like, pull something? <laughs> this is the longest we've been on a holiday all together with Frank. After living with Frank in New York, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be a breeze. Vacationing with Frank is a whole new Frank. I don't know who this guy is. Here you go, watch this. <laughs> I think you're a little more size. <laughs> no, you got to put it down the back. Oh. Keep it here. Sly is your typical older brother that likes to tease the little brother. And this is just it. The longer they are together, the worse it is. Hey! Do the collars match the cuffs? The crazy thing is, he's enjoying it. He doesn't mind that he looks like a clown. <laughs> Who wants pepperoni? Not me. Oh my god, I have a headache. Uh, Are you getting a headache? Yes. Okay, guys, we have to take it down a little bit because <laughs> Sophia's <laughs> getting another headache. Hello! Sorry, sorry. 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 Cheers to Sophia's migraine. Yay! <laughs> Good drink to that. The point of being in Rome as a family is to do things as a family. We want to make sure Sophia has the best night ever, even if it means staying in. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, finally. Look who decided to show up. Just look Frank. at the arms on this. Frank, I'm glad. <laughs> Why'd you wear a cowboy boots? <laughs> even though I know that they are a loud family and definitely wouldn't help my migraine, maybe make it a little worse. They're the best, and I really appreciate that they decided to stay in and wallow with me. <laughs> what do you think of Scarlett's deep voice? It was great. You out that's like club. Lauren Bacall had deep voice. Yeah, that's right. For a young guy with like a baseball hat sideways, if a girl came up, so how are you, big boy? Bingo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> because they're talking to girls like, yeah, you need for sure. We are freaking Bill Peppers and you know. Bill So you get a girl with a deep, sexy what voice. Bill Peppers have to do it. I don't know. <laughs> and the guy had like a. Oh, God! What the fuck? Frank does this stupid thing. It's an inside joke about pizza. And he's going, 
it for sure ain't no bell peppers on the pizza. You for sure. And I fucking. Uh, boom. Wait, what? That's all over the guy goes, here, can you get some bell peppers? You fucking. Wait, I don't need to You made me spit on my dinner. I know, you spit all on over myself? the carpet. Okay, I've had it. I need to know someone who's warmer than the sunshine. Could be that you're the one for me. You touch me deeper, darling. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. Baby. While we're in Rome, I've been trying to dote on Jennifer and show her how much I love her because we've been here many times for work, but to vacation with Jennifer, this is something we rarely ever did. So I thought, why not rekindle her love in these romantic moments? True magic of the moonlight. <laughs> you give me everything. I need, 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 need. Oh my God. Well, man, you Slide down there trying to belt out something. It's so sweet. Tonight. It was like a movie to me, but it couldn't have been a more perfect moment. But I'm never, never gonna, gonna give, give you up for someone else's love. <laughs> Never gonna, gonna let, let you go, go and lose the oh, one Thank I you. Love. Oh, whoa. Tonight. What a great surprise. There's more of that coming. Tonight. I asked my daughters, can you put together this love dinner at the end of our trip where we're gonna celebrate your mother? And of course, they rallied. They said, Dad, sit back. We got this. And I can't be more excited. I love it. Bravo. Bye, love. Oh.